Oh, I'm doing some tillage. Doing some ice tillage. With the wishing disc hooked up here. I'm gonna take it a couple spots here, just mainly south of the corral there, maybe along the trees a little bit, both sides, and don't really have to do a whole lot, not much pressure, just let it kind of chew up the ice a little bit, get some grooves and ridges, and hopefully it'll make a couple paths here for the cows. And it's kind of working. It. <clears throat> some place if it's really a hard pack, it's not doing as much, but didn't do too bad of a job south of the corral there, so. Kind of just driving along the trees here now. Kind of break up some of the stuff here at least a little bit. And hopefully, today it's getting upper 20s, low 30s here today and tomorrow yet. And I guess kind of the next day too, but hopefully it'll, the sun will melt a little bit, kind of warm the ground up a little bit here. Air underneath there, so hopefully might freeze dry a little bit more yeah you cows are following me everywhere I go they're wondering what the heck what the heck's going on here just trying to manage how much I put the wish is on because I don't want the wheels up to me or it's you know but just needed to chew her a little bit so this is first time for me I guess doing um, tillage January 1st I guess starting off the year with tillage Ice chipper. I think it worked just too bad. Some places it chewed it up pretty good. <laughs> I mean, there things have improved a bit, you know, but anything with a slope going to the north down is pretty icy yet. I didn't even go, I didn't go down the hill there. Uh, it's too, it'd be way too sketchy. I even had, there's not enough weight in this tractor, plus I don't know, even if I have a tractor twice the size, it help a lot, but when you're on when you're on ice, though, it isn't good. So, see, yeah, I'm making tracks behind me there. Ice is, you know, air pockets, so it's kind of breaking down somewhat. But some places here are still pretty icy yet, though. Wherever there's grass, it's pretty much almost practically good to go out in the open for the most part. Yeah, some place did really good, like it actually chewed up some of the dirt a little bit here. It's still a little treacherous yet. Because all the, the loose ice chunks and still gotta, whew, still gotta be careful yet. Some place did really good here. And then oh you ran the tank over a little bit here. And uh you see where it's a little more hard pack here, more or less kind of scratched and made some ridges here. It's actually not too bad here. Actually, pretty good grip here right now. But I figure if we get a little bit of melting here, today and tomorrow just a little bit, the stuff will kind of refreeze and kind of bind together and it should be, a, should have pretty good traction here then with all this, this stuff refreezes when it gets colder later this week. So I yeah, kind of chewed all that up down there for the cows and shoot here too so we can have a little more grip getting out then so this this is this is a sheet of ice here i didn't even go here i don't want to slide in the building a sheet of ice God, it's slippery just unreal unreal yeah <laughs> yep where i didn't where i didn't diss there that that is that's scary Say hey, this is rare. Dad's cleaning out a bale feeder. <laughs> just getting ready to feed the calves here. Just getting stuff ready to go here, but hey, you busy. Just 
just gathering around. <laughs> oh, that's a uh, quite a bit better here, actually. Let's see all the marks here. You can watch it pretty good. melted a little bit, thawed a little bit, and yeah, it's actually uh, quite a bit better here. Actually, actually walk here, it's pretty easy now. All chipped away a little bit. This is a, this is pretty much a solid patch of ice here. Here's what this looked like before it. This is where it wasn't even touched here. This is pretty much Moving and then came across her at the distance. I hear it's pretty bad here. We got uh, quite a bit more grip here now with that getting chewed up here. Yeah, this wasn't touch. I didn't touch this here at all. It's pretty tight getting through here at the disc. Pretty tight fitting through. But yeah, it's just all scuffed up and everything here and stuff and. Yeah, that actually feels pretty good. <laughs> so maybe a little treacherous yet there, but not a lot better than it was before. Well, we're uh, hauling in a few second cabbers and uh, heifers. So guys, uh, coming to get them today. It's actually uh, kind of working it out in a way here guy that body's northwest of Bismarck quite a ways but he's got a a friend that's uh trucking calves to uh the sale barn here and since we don't have a loadout shoot for a semi um we're hauling hauling them into the sale barn here just so they can do a swap there then so working out with the sale barn there to be able to dump them off there and then load them onto his truck then so so we picked out uh mainly dad's Right, you're still up here, Cal. You think you had enough of this today? Got most of them up in the first try with the feed pail. But they were so spread out. It's, it's so nice today. I mean, it's colder today, but there's no wind. It's just, it's just nice out. So they were all they were all over the place. So I just took the feed pail and I walked through the field here and bringing them all the way up. And pretty much got most of them up except for four of them. Then we tried it again then after sorted them out, got two more in, then we tried it one more time, then got one more in, but the other one was kind of a dingy ding ding. So I think out of, the, out of all of them, the one dingy one, I guess, so out of the, the group there. So we have how many? Cause we got rid of 25 here, pretty big chunk out of there. So kind of not used to it selling them, selling them this soon, just uh, January. Usually if guys come by them, it's usually like February or March. Didn't mind feeding cows right now because it's nicer out, so don't mind feeding them. I would have cared to feed them for a few more months, but that's the way it is though, so whatever. So, I mean, still we still have some more for sale yet. You know, I mean, like I say, a couple more dads yet, and then most of them are mine, but, you know, I'm really not interested in selling them yet, but if I get the price I want for them, I'd probably let them go. So, some of them probably, have, you know, I'm definitely gonna want more than what my dad was asking, you know, for 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 the a good chunk of them here. But see, the ones I have are pretty much the cream of the crop. So, ones I bought, uh, they're yearling calves. So, like you're you're one, you're kind of a cream of the crop one here, right? <laughs> I mean, there's a, there's a handful, too, that we sell that. You know, kind of harder to let go. There's a cu couple tame ones in there going with, but just the way it's working out, though. So it's one way to to cut down on herd numbers. you got to sell the ones you don't want to sell, too. For me, personally, I'm not interested in selling any of mine, but if I get what I want for them, like I say, at least three, three grand for them, which probably nobody will, which which is fine. I say I'm not interested in selling mine, so, but I guess if I get the price I want for them, but... And this is why hard to come by critters like this. Like this
Yeah, you girls want some feed, I suppose. Hey, you. There. Good, I usually try to give him feed too when you get him in. It's just, they say we have to get him in a few tries. And it's, it's a lot of numbers. A lot of the same numbers kept coming in right away because they know they're getting feed. So it's that positive reinforcement for them to, that you're trying to get them in somewhere. If they know they get feed every time they're going in somewhere, it's a lot easier getting them in then. But there's always a, you say, one or two smart asses though that make life a little difficult. Hear your commotion in there. I'm gonna give them some corn in there too. <sighs> so I always try to treat these cows good. I always try to. So when we ever gotta get them in and do work with them, that they that they come. Not all like that way, but try to try to do that though. The ground is kind of giving way. They're making uh, press down here getting there it's still slick yet but yeah we did feed them a little bit in there just to uh make sure they got they got something for the day then they're not going on empty stomachs hey bissies Pretty good, pretty nice group. It's so quiet. Very quiet. There's no wind. When there's no wind out, you a, a person notices it around here. It's so rare. Yeah, pretty weird seeing 25 less head out here. <laughs> Looks empty.